ReShopper comes with a large assortment of refactorings for all your development needs. So let's take a look at some of them. Now, first of all, we're going to look at the most common refactoring that exists, the rename refactoring. So for example, I have a class human here. Let's suppose I want to change the name from human to person. What I can do is I can fire up a refactoring to do exactly that. And there are different ways to do this. One is to invoke a keyboard shortcut directly. Another is to bring up the refactor this menu. Now I'm going to choose rename here and I'll give this human a new name, like person, for example. After I press return, you'll notice that all the locations where the word human was used are now replaced by person. And we can do the same thing for a field. So for example, if I want to change age to legal age, I can use a keyboard shortcut to bring up the refactoring. And if I type legal here, reshopper goes off and looks for my settings regarding to naming conventions, and it's offering legal underscore age underscore. So I can pick exactly this value, I can press next here, and now I have the replacement done in all the locations where legal age is used. Another refactoring that's available in ReShopper for C++ is the introduce variable refactoring. For example, here I'm calculating a monthly rate based on an hourly rate by multiplying it by eight hours in a day and then by 30 days in a month. So what I can do is I can take a chunk of this expression, I can select it and I can introduce a variable for it. Once again, I'll fire up the refactor this menu and here I'll choose introduce variable. So I can give this variable a type, I can either use the deduce type which is int or I can go with auto and then on the next placeholder I can specify the name for the variable. In this case this would be a daily rate. And we're done. Finally let's take a look at the extract method refactoring. Here I'm solving a quadratic equation and I want to take part of the calculation and do it in a separate function. What I can do is once again bring up the refactor this menu and I can choose extract method. Here, ReShopper is showing me the variables which are going to be used as parameters to the extracted method, and I can specify a name here. Let me just do that quickly. So now that I specified a name, I get a preview of the result of the refactoring, and after I press next, ReShopper generates the actual function and also substitutes the call to this function in the right location.